Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Amy. And this is our dog, Jagger. We left our beautiful home in Maui and built ourselves a home on wheels. And now we would like to invite you to join us as we drive from California to Panama. Previously on the Traveling Together Journal, we purchased a truck and started preparing it to be our expedition vehicle. It's a lot taller. Is it gonna fit? Yeah. It's seven. It's gonna work? Long. It's perfect. Open up our new home, dear. All right. Feast your eyes upon the massive expanse of room we have. <laughs> Camper shell. It's a high rise. It's gonna be the inside of our home. It's got a slider glass door there, two windows. And the plan is Matt is going to chop off the top of this whole thing. And then we'll build a bed starting from about here, crossed. And that'll be where we sleep. And the whole bottom will be storage. He's gonna cut off the top of that camper shell and build it so that it goes up over the top of the cab. And the idea would be that while we're inside the truck sleeping or relaxing, let's say it's pouring rain in the tropics, Central America, which it often does, we can be inside the truck, sitting in bed and still sit up while having a few surfboards above our head. So we'll have the surfboards inside the truck, hopefully keeping them from theft. So yeah, stay tuned for the build. So what are you up to this time? Modifying the back seat for more storage and to hopefully make it easier for me to build our storage box in the back. He's taken out this whole back panel um, and we have removed half of the bucket seat back here and that's going to be building a box back here. All done. All done. I thought what you said before was cute. I'm supposed to be getting all these super funny things that I say here. I wasn't filming. Look at that. Shag carpeting. I already got, got some hair in there. I already got some Jagger hair in there? Yeah. Nice. Look at that, Jax. Mm -hmm. Jagger approved. Alright. You gonna go put it in the truck? Yep. Not everybody can get in there right now, guys. <laughs> Voila! Box is gonna go right here along this edge. Up. And then we left this seat belt. So this person gets this much space right here. Perfect. <laughs> Eight inches. So Matt has been working on taking the sticky glue that this carpeting had been attached to the inside of our camper shell with. Um, he's been working on it for four days. Has it been that long? Yep. I can't remember. <laughs> <sighs> uh, but it looks, it looks like you're getting it. Yeah, making some progress.
today you know that whole thing uh been working on our truck and other related projects for 17 days now so starting to get pretty tired and kind of over it <laughs> anyway today didn't go as good as i had hoped I was trying to put the first pieces of our camper shell, or our house, together. <laughs> but it got a little too windy and blew my fabulous work apart. And what are you working on right now? I am putting hinges on our solar panels basically trying to make a solar suitcase kind of a thing since we're going to have mobile solar panels instead of permanently mounting them on our roof and nobody that I could find at the time of shopping made anything much bigger than like a 150 watt solar suitcase and we wanted a 300 watt system so we're taking a little break this afternoon at the Ventura River Preserve, uh, just outside of Ojai. There you go, that's how you do it. She didn't know how to drink from the camel pack yet. It's not a professional hiker like Dag. Sanding fiberglass. Oh, it's your favorite thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so Matt and I are going to do a really big fiberglass project today. That's the roof panels. We're going to put on our homemade camper. We're going to put some cross beams right here. And that's just sanding, getting this ready. And then I was cutting chunks of fiberglass in various little sizes um, and I will be wetting the fabric as Matt lays it onto our camper shell. So when undertaking a project like this, uh, it seems as though Every project that you end up doing ends up taking just 
quite a bit longer than you thought it was gonna take. Uh, Matt and I thought we were gonna attach the roof today and fiberglass the whole inside and outside of this roof today. And we started first thing in the morning and it's already 5.30 and we are still working on just getting the bracketry and the roof lined up and even because we still have some areas where it's bowing. So if we put the cinder blocks, the heavy things on top, and then fiberglass, we're hoping maybe by the morning when it cures, those little areas will have remedied themselves. But we used such a thin wood, um, and even when we bought it fresh from the store, it was already just not perfect. Uh, sitting outside, it's nice and moist in the morning. I don't know, everything got all warped. It's been a long, challenging day, and we've got quite a few more left. Update, it is 6 p.m., and Matt and I are just finally considering the idea of fiberglassing. We have the whole roof on, we have our crest beams shaved down so that they're not bowing anymore. And we have our spots that we're kind of disconnecting from the roof uh, weighed down by cinder blocks. Good morning guys. Today is June 1st and we were hoping to leave today, although I never really thought... Oh shit. All right. Today is May 31st, not June 1st, um, but anyhow, we were hoping to leave tomorrow. I never really thought that we were going to be able to get this entire project done Naysayer. <laughs> in this amount of time, but uh, so yeah, I was unfortunately correct. And here we are. Uh, we have quite the little house. We've fiberglassed the whole inside of our house. And then today, we hope to fiberglass the outside. Do you have any words, Matthew? Put the camera away, let's get this done. Through the middle of basically our second piece here, we ran out of fiberglass. So we went to Ventura, we got fiber, not fiberglass, resin. Sorry, I keep saying it backwards. Ran out of resin. So we went all the way to Ventura and back and got resin. And we got back and Matt started sanding, or wanted to start sanding this piece and this piece here immediately the sander wouldn't work. Um, so basically, it's another day where we thought we were gonna get all this stuff done and we didn't. And it is becoming nightfall and we are gonna fiberglass into the night again. June 3rd and we are on our big power glass day hoping to finish it all today. We got up early this morning. Started working at 6. Uh, it is 12.45 right now, and we just got the little arches I was telling you about for the front and the back on the inside. And that last piece of the floor of this uh, overhanging section done um, in those first, like, six hours. So. Now we are going to uh, glass the roof over again and some of these arches on the outside. Any words? Let's do this. We did it! <laughs> we have, we think, finished fireglassing her. We're sweaty, we're sticky, it's been a long day. We did it. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> what are you doing, Amy? <laughs> we forgot to get paint stirs at the store. <laughs> so I'm shaking the paint.
can't believe I forgot to videotape this, but the four of us just got this camper onto our truck. Next time on the Traveling Together Journal, we build out the inside of our truck camper.